sunny season, Darko Massive Swamp, the famous green and yellow of Beijing, to come here to Chaqing Yatai. 200 appearances for the Capital Club. Many were surprised to see him leave, but after seven years in the country, he's determined to continue his Chinese adventure. Yeah, to be honest to you, um, we had the interview in, in Beijing, and uh, now we're in Changchun. Um, yeah, changed a lot. I changed the city, changed the team. And uh, back then, I think uh, I would never have thought uh, that uh, we will meet here. But uh, that's football. Uh, one day you're here, the next you're in a new club. That's how, how fast the things ch can change in football. How did it feel to leave Beijing? Um, in the first moment, uh, it felt really uh, surprising for me and my family because we felt uh, really, really comfortable. Uh, it was our home for so many years. And uh, we had to leave so many friends behind to leave our apartment. We, we stayed at the same apartment for several years. We had to leave our eye, uh, my kids, uh, she was taking care of my kids. So uh, it's, it's like a complete new life uh, starting for us right now. I was delighted to be invited to the captain's hotel to get the full experience of the former Goan midfielder's new life in Changchun. Going to the bar he hangs out in, getting a ride to training from his personal driver and chilling out in his living room and watching the game. Did you just literally come back from training and, and just kick back and watch TV? Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a football player, which is not just a football player during the training sessions. Like I like to, to be involved, to fo focus these teams in, in the Champions League and also to follow the Chinese national team. Because a lot of these guys uh, are my friends and uh, I'm always happy for them and I always cheer up for Chinese teams when they play in the Champions League. So it's, it's, it's good representation of the country because they represent China now. And I'm also playing in China so of course it's po positive if those teams win. And uh, of course I want my friends uh, to win. But you also want to see what you're up against? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Are you ready for Like I, I felt a bit uh, treated unfair from Beijing, from Rwanda. That's a shame. And then, then it's easier to go. Oh, I see. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Like if uh, if there would be such a kind of yeah, they offered you a contract, you wanna, and then I, I left would be would be more hard for me to understand. But like this, you know. So the life goes on. Life goes on. Yeah. That's the thing. That's a football's career, isn't it? It's so and short. And you know, sometimes, sometimes, uh, when you leave a club. The people like you even more because they see how much you're like available. You, you understand? Yeah. You see, they see you're avail available and it's not easy to replace. I knew it would not be easy to replace me because I've done more things that only play football for Beijing. With the huge investment in the CSL, most of the teams are pouring money to attract big names. But as one of the longest serving foreign players in the country, Darko has been a perfect role model and is a fan favorite wherever he goes. Um, all these foreign players, when they come to China, uh, some of them uh, ask me, because I'm so many years here, they ask me for some advices, and uh, the only advices I can give to them is to respect the culture, to respect the language, to respect the people. And uh, most of them are doing it, but those ones uh, which are not doing it, they also stay, don't, they don't stay long in China. Um, in my opinion, like um, in other professional football leagues, for example, I played in Germany, and uh, you have to learn the language. They even give you a teacher every day after training sessions. We have two hours of learning the language to understand the people and the culture. I think this is a really important part of a professional football player. For the Croatian, the fans of his old team, Beijing Gowon, still have a special place in his heart. During a match with Chang Chun at the Workers' Stadium, he received an emotional ovation from the Green Army, who will never forget his loyal service for the Capital Club. A scene which kept to the true spirit of the game at a time when some foreigners within Chinese football are beginning to get a reputation of being money motivated. Oh, um, it was hard to leave them, um, especially when I when they heard I'm leaving the club. I got so many messages, um, so many phone calls, and I didn't really realize I'm leaving. Um, when I realized I'm leaving, it was uh, the ceremony the club organized, the farewell ceremony for me. It was a nice thing and um, it was a pleasure for me um, playing in the biggest club in China for so many years and uh, 
I'm still receiving messages from Mugwan fans that I'm still part of them and they're looking forward for me to, after my retirement, to return to Beijing Guan. It's just a, a pleasure for every football player to have the opportunity to play for such a football player. Absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Thank have a safe much. trip home to Beijing and uh, hope to see you again soon. I'm sure we'll be back. Okay. Bye-bye.